optimize the performance of your chillers with the connected equipment dashboard. In this video, we'll show you the key features. These simple tools will help you assess your chillers and take proactive steps to avoid unplanned downtime. This is the enterprise view. Divided into three sections, it gives you a complete overview of all the chillers in your facility. Let's take a closer look at each of the three sections. First, let's look at the recent events section. You can see a list of all the events that happened within the last 24 hours, sorted by priority, critical, moderate, and low. Next, let's look at the Chiller Performance Index section. We gather data from each chiller to calculate a rating between 0 and 100. The higher the rating, the better your chiller is operating. By comparing these ratings, you can quickly focus on the ones that are not performing as expected. While recent events updates in real time, here we show you historical data. Review performance over a set period to figure out when any issues began and if they're getting worse. Go to this drop-down menu on the right. Select one day, one week, one month, three months, or one year. Finally, here is connection status, which shows two important things in real time. The first, status check, tells you if there are any faults right now. The second, connection status, tells you if each chiller is connected to your OpenBlue services. Now it's time to focus on data for one chiller only. You can do that at any time, with one click in any section of the dashboard. When you see something interesting and want to know more, click on it. This opens the chiller view for that unit. Here is an example on screen. You are looking at the chiller performance index for this individual unit, but this low score of 46 grabs your attention. Click on it. Then the chiller view opens. Now you are reviewing that unit in greater detail. On the top left, you can see the chiller's model number, serial number, and connection status. Straight away, you can see this unit has scored just 46 out of 100 in the last month, and there have been 41 shutdown events. Here you can see the problems relate to low suction pressure. As a result, this unit is in critical condition. Click here to get a report of all issues from the past week. Want to see one for a longer period? No problem. Go to the Report section up here. You can see here how serious recent issues have been. Now, let's figure out when the problems actually started. Go to the bar chart on the right and click the month. Now you can see the performance on each day. Looking across, you can see the problems began around here, on February 12th. Click this button to compare with the same time last year. In this example, performance has dropped from the previous year. This unit clearly needs attention before things get worse. You can also review performance across a full year if you want to. To do that, select one year from the drop-down at the top right of the graph. In this example, you can see the average score for the past year is a solid 83. There have been 50 shutdowns across the year, so now we know most of the problems, 41, have been happening in the last month. As we have just shown, it's quick and easy to review chiller performance, spot issues, and deal with them before they get worse. With this software connected, all the information you need is at your fingertips. We hope you found this demonstration useful. Still got some questions about using your connected equipment dashboard? We're here to help. Get in touch at any time with the contact details on screen.